Showing some contrition, Hazel Blears maintains she's done nothing wrong and broken no laws. I've complied with the rules of the House, the rules of the Inland Revenue, um, and, you know, that's the situation as it is. But I do understand how strongly the public feel about it, and they hate all of this, and that means we've got to get it sorted out as quickly as possible. The Telegraph claims some MPs made money from the sale of properties part funded by the taxpayer. According to one newspaper this morning, Revenue and Customs is looking at whether MPs are exploiting the rules on capital gains tax. Selling your first home, your primary residence, is tax-free. But second homes attract tax at 18%. The allegation is that some MPs flipped the primary residence designation from one home to another just before they sold it. So now MPs are moving to tighten up, overseeing their own expenses. The House of Commons Commission will agree tomorrow that a special audit unit will be set up to look at every expense in the future, to verify it, to analyse it, and that unit will be entirely separate from the present fees office. So we are going to some lengths to meet the public's anxiety and to give them reassurance. Work and Pensions Minister Kitty Usher apparently claimed thousands of pounds to renovate her South London home, which it's claimed she already owned before she became an MP. It is, of course, a small minority of MPs who stretch the rules to breaking point and further damage the reputation of Parliament. And although the Telegraph has so far focused almost exclusively on Labour MPs, the Conservatives know there are plenty of skeletons in the Tory closet still to be revealed. And so they're resisting the temptation to attack Labour and welcoming the new audit system to reassure people MPs' excesses will be curbed. In their own minds, I think voters know what is a legitimate expense that you have to have if you're going to have a, a second home in London. But I think they also recognise what in their views, and I think correctly, are luxury items which ought to be uh, provided from your private income. Today's opinion polls reflect the damage done not only to Labour by these expenses revelations, but to all politicians. Glenn Glaser, Sky News, Westminster.